Hello everybody, my name is Nick. I've got here, this is the Moog EP2 expression pedal. Um, I've been kind of waiting for a while to get one, but uh, I am kind of mad at myself for not getting one sooner. What this does is it allows you to control one parameter on one of the Moger Fogers. Um, now this costs about, I want to say about $44 on GuitarCenter.com. So it's about half the, half the price of the uh, Roland, and this actually works with the Roland equipment, or Boss. So uh, I'll be showing that to you, but right now uh, I'm just going to run through a few basic things that you can do with it uh, on the ring modulator and the Freakbox pedal, then we'll show uh, the Boss pedals. So right now, I've got it on the ring modulator, I have it plugged into the frequency input, and we can start to do something like this. some delay on that. Now we have this plugged into the mix input. And by the way, what you want to do is you want to set the uh, knob on the pedal all the way down. Uh, that way you get the full range um, of the uh, of the sweep from the pedal. So if I turn this knob on the mix knob on the ring modulator all the way down, once I start to move that up, set the maximum range um, of what the pedal is going to stop at with this little knob at the bottom. So instead of going all the way up, we can get, let's see, let's take, let's take this about halfway. And uh, okay, so we've still got this on the mix input. And since this is set halfway, once I turn this pedal all the way up, it's only going to go halfway on the mix. something else patched in. I've got the uh, expression pedal into the envelope amount on the freak box. Uh, I've got the LFO from the ring modulator plugged into the waveform. So the waveform itself is moving on its own, but uh, I'm able to control the envelope amount of the freak box, which is going to give me kind of a crazy uh, synth wah kind of, uh, kind of sound. So that sounds like this. Okay, now I've got this expression pedal plugged into the, uh, I have here a Boss PS5 Super Shifter. Um, if you've got an expression pedal plugged in that pedal, you can actually make it sound like a Digitech whammy. So uh, we're going to start with a uh, dry tone here in the uh, toe up position, and we'll get the uh, octave up in the toe down position. So that goes like this. got for the Moog EP2. Um, if you're about to get the Roland EV5 expression, I would suggest getting this instead. Um, it is still made out of plastic like the Roland, but this is a little bit heavier, it's a little bit tougher. Um, it works better. Um, the uh, Roland, I've noticed, and I've had two of them in the past, uh, the sweep doesn't start until you're about almost halfway through, and then the sweep starts, which doesn't really give you full range in the pedal, so you, you're kind of guessing where you're at. Um, this gives you full range throughout the entire uh, throughout the entire sweep there, and uh, I know Mo doesn't really spend so much time trying to promote this thing. Um, I, they've got their uh, multi pedal, the MP201 multi pedal, but uh, this is a really really basic uh, solid tool um, that will help you shape your tone. Uh, if you've got a Moger Foger, any any one, if you've got multiple. 
there's no reason why you should not have one of these. Um, especially if you're going to spend all that money getting those motor fogers, you should have at least one of these. That's all I got for you tonight. Thanks for watching, and there will be more videos in the future. Goodbye.